Hello, Tanse Bojo. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dallas Arcan. I'd like to welcome you to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. This is my daily free class that I do for fitness and wellness. So, good morning and happy Tuesday to you. And uh, yeah, this is a constant effort that I do on a consistent basis, not only for myself and my own health, but also for everybody else that I share. So, um, we can kind of work together into uh, getting healthy and also um, having a little fun with some with some powwow dancing. Um, that's how I created this class, Powwow Dance Aerobics. This is like a, a, a consistent thing that we can do. And, you know, it's, it's better than doing nothing, right? It's better than like any little workout that you do is better than doing nothing at all, right? Um, because it, it's it's a consistent challenge and effort, you know, to to get up and and to stay true to your to your commitment to your to your goals to your goals in fitness your your goals in life and your goals in uh, personal development and self improvement. It's a it's a relentless effort uh, to to get up and and to just want to be healthy and and to want to uh, be uh, be wholesome, live a wholesome life. You know, do the things that you've always wanted. You know, because if you continue to do the things that you've always done, you always get the same results, and that's um, true. So any little subtle changes, it, it definitely changes the course of uh, your your goals and and uh, the course of your life. There's lots of different things like that I've noticed in my own life that that help me in my efforts to improve myself and to improve the quality of my life. So that's why I, I do this. Uh, even if I'm even if I'm late sometimes, or even if I don't want to do it sometimes, I I still do it. I still I still build up the the courage to do it. Like I I have got things in my life too that keep me busy. Um, you know I've got I've got family around. I've got I've got uh, you know I've got responsibilities to do. Uh, I've, I've got to balance my schedule. You know because I'm also an instructor at a college. I've, I've been kind of balancing that with my own career as an artist and I've got my own personal goals as an artist. I've got uh, music goals. I've got uh, goals to stay in shape too. And, and you know, beyond that, I've, I'm an entrepreneur and artist. So I've got things like that running around in my life. So anyways, I just thought I would share some things with you guys uh, in regards to my own process uh, as an artist, as, as I do this class for you guys every day. It's, um, you know, it's just a constant challenge every day. And, and I'm here regardless. Regardless if I'm here at 7.30 or 8.04 like today. So I just noticed I was like, okay, I'm kind of losing track of time here. Because, yeah, I've, I've been a little challenged because I have a, a really busy schedule these days. And I'm trying to keep up with everything. So anyways, um, regardless of that, uh, let's get started with some powwow dance aerobics. Uh, I said my speech for the day, my little uh, speech. So... I got my water here and I just want to jam out and, and get on with my day because I got a busy day ahead of me. So uh, good morning to you guys and welcome. Thanks for joining. So here we go. Here's the first dance. <laughs> Okay, first song. All right, so this is the warm up. So let's get started. All it takes is a little bit of dancing. And my voice is getting better today. <laughs> so that little bit of workout helped me yesterday. And fresh air. Um, because I shoveled snow and that was my workout too. So make sure if you are shoveling snow in Canadian winter, make sure that you alternate back and forth, left to right. So you do 10 strokes this way, and then you do 10 strokes this way. Just like when you're dancing, right? You do steps this way, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one,
Song. So let's do two more here. Okay. okay. So here's the uh, next warm up song. Alright, so back to the basic step. And all these little things I'm doing, they, they work out different parts of the body. So that upper body twist helps the core muscles. Every time you lift your leg like this, works up the core muscles. So I'm gonna give you guys some challenges now. So let's see if we can cross our elbows like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One.
there is the warm up. We did three songs, so that was easy. All right, read some of your guys' comments here. All right on, thanks uh, for sharing that, Kimmy, for helping you achieve your goals and getting back into shape, kicking cancer's butt a few years ago. All right on, well, that's good because exercising promotes uh, health and it's the best uh, medicine for the body. And uh, it's uh, rehabilitation is the best way to heal any part of your body, even the internal part, even if you're going through challenges in your health. You know, there's a lot of health challenges in First Nations community um, all across Canada, all across the US. There's, you know, there's a, there's a plague of like diabetes, um, you know, obesity, uh, you know, there's all kinds of health problems that are plagued in our, in our communities. And, you know, I, there was this movement, movement started a few years back called Idle No More, right? When people took to the streets and, and said, enough's enough, you know, First Nations rights. We stand up for our rights. So what I'm wondering is if our people can do that for ourselves, you know, if our people can be idle no more for, for ourselves, you know, I don't want to be idle no more, just living my life at, at, uh, at a survival mode, you know, I, I you know, it, could it ever get to a place where we're living in prosperity? rather than just on basic survival instincts. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. So you guys are wondering how to get a powwow dance aerobics hoodie. Uh, just inbox me and I'm collecting uh, information right now in the, the inbox uh, forms. And um, if I, once I get enough orders, then I'm going to take all your guys' information and then we're, we'll make arrangements. So if you guys want these, cause I don't really have a store to get these as of yet. I'm working on that. I'm not like a computer whiz uh, that knows how to do all that stuff. I, I tried it in the past and nobody really bought into it. I did Teespring, but nobody really bought into it. And I've tried to do apparel before and uh, yeah, just not enough people uh, bought it for, uh, you know, for the amount of effort. Sometimes I'd make orders and people wouldn't buy it. So just uh, send me an inbox and, um, I, I do have a list right now of people that are wanting these uh, Powwow Dance aerobics. These are just for a project uh, that I did recently. But if you guys definitely want these uh, to work out in, I even have the matching pants. Well, not these pants, but I have those. It's good to work out in this. And, and also when you work out too, you want to wear in like a nice shirt that'll help your skin breathe. Because your skin's like your biggest organ in your body. So it's always good. To, uh, to help your skin breathe. So anyways, I'm gonna answer some of your questions here. Oh, good morning, Jacqueline, and uh, if you're still here. And uh, good morning, Sharon, thanks for joining. And Corey, uh, good morning. And everybody else, uh, Charette, Cheryl, Tina, good morning. I'm just looking for uh, any questions I might have missed while I was dancing. So good morning, Kimmy. And good morning, Danielle. And uh, yeah, everybody else. Uh, I'm trying to look at all your comments here and everything. So good morning to everybody that's joining. And what types of exercise do you do for your lungs? How severe unco uncontrolled asthma? I try to do some of your stuff. I'm just checking out. Uh, but some of your stuff, but activity is limited. Okay. Um, as for uh, exercise for your lungs, um, I guess some suggestions is to do morning walks, uh, especially with that morning fresh air. Uh, if you're doing that, that will that the air is really good quality air in the mornings because it's fresh air. It's not the end of the day air, you know, where all the greenhouse gases. Uh, build up and everything like that. The best air is the morning, that crisp air to get in your lungs and, and also to to just walk. 
Like, do a, do a walk. If you can't dance, walk. If you can't walk, then just, you know, just try a little bit at a time and build yourself up to it. And uh, the more you do it, the more you're going to build up your stamina. And uh, also for dancing, you can do um, you can do a modified version. You can do like just a just a nice minimal, because a lot of times in in uh, powwow, you'll see like the old timers, like the guys that are like seventy plus years old, uh, the elders. They do they call it golden age. They do dancing as well, and they have health cha challenges. Like believe me, they got they've got health challenges too. Like some of them even have to walk in a walker, but they still dance. And they, they even just go like this with their hands, right? So you could do modified versions of it. As long as you're still dancing, as long as your heart's still in it and you're and you're and you're pushing yourself a little bit, but not to the point where you're you're going to, you know, um, risk yourself of uh, having uh, any further health problems. So anyways, I, I just thought I'd share that. So if you have challenges with your with your lungs and your health, uh, definitely push yourself but not to the point where it's going to hurt yourself so I, that's my only advice for you that you're having health problems i'm not a doctor but uh basically ask any doctor they'll say that any exercise is good for healing for uh, maintaining your body and everything like that so anyways uh, i'm just going to do some stretches with you guys now now that i've kind of uh established uh, our um uh, our warm-up so I always do this the same every day. So once you guys learn this, you can pretty much do this on your own. So I would start off with the wrists and then some small circles here, small circles and then medium circles and bigger circles. And this helps to loosen up those shoulder muscles, those uh, sockets in your shoulders. And it helps to loosen up uh, your chest muscles and your back muscles, everything like that. It just helps you loosen up and stretching is good you could research this that stretching is really good for for the body it helps with the circulation it helps to oxidize your blood and uh, there's just a lot of good good benefits to uh, stretching so I'm just loosening up there and now we do our first stretch official stretch like so this one you want to like keep your arm straight and hold it towards your chest this one will stretch your tricep and shoulder muscle it's really good you can you can already I could already feel the circulation in my hand it's it's definitely you can feel it it's like it, it kind of puts some tension on it and you can feel the tension and, and the buildup and, and the circulation in your arm start to improve just by doing that like I I'm glad I, I, I can do this you know and I've, I've done lots of training in the past with uh, with uh, personal trainers and stuff and, and this is the stuff I learned and I still do to this day so once you learn it you can do it on your own so this one you're just pulling your hands apart trying to pull your hands apart and you can feel that and uh, back of your shoulder blades your upper body and then with this one you can do a modified version where you just twist back and forth like this and it works its way down to your lower back and hips oh yeah that feels good feels really good especially after last night i was i was doing some shoveling uh because up here in canada we had three feet of snow so i'm still even after a week and a half later or a week later of dealing with the snowstorm i'm still um still shoveling uh, the big snow pack that we had which is like three feet it, it, it's it was a lot of snow to happen all at once but uh, I had to do it for, for my family that lives here so they can have better access just to make sure that they had access to the house and everything. So anyways, oh yeah, I felt a little crack in my neck. So anyways, this, these are the next stretches. So this is the last part, hand on your shoulder, lean away from it. And you should feel this in your shoulder deltoid muscle. And this helps to improve that circulation because um, your, uh, your brain is the control center of your body, right? So when you do these stretches, it helps to improve that circulation as well from, from your, your system to your head and back down. You got to have that efficient flow of your nervous system, your blood, everything that all that energy coming, you know, 
um, they have this thing called chakras, right? In your body, you've got chakras, you got a neck chakra, head chakra, heart chakra, uh, stomach chakra, and then um, the diaphragm. All these chakras, I don't, I don't really know much about them, but you can look it up. But these are all uh, energy centers in your body that help. And when you help with that flow, when you help maintain that flow, it, it makes a big difference. So anyways, that's what stretching does too. It helps you connect with these things in, in different ways. So anyways, I've got a couple more stretches and then we'll, we'll move on. Oh yeah, this one feels good. So just hands behind your head and reach your elbow to your knee. This one feels good on the uh, on the inner thigh and right here in the rib cage. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that feels good. I can feel that. Oh, it's really good. And these uh, the best time to work out. Everybody is the morning time. Like I don't really care. Like if anybody has like uh, a preferred time or or says different. But you can actually work out different times of the day. But it's always good to have like even just a little workout in the mornings. Like a little 15, 20 minute warm up workout before you start your day, right? Because it prepares you for the day. Because if you're not quite awake and you're walking somewhere and then all of a sudden you slip on ice. Boom. And it hits you. It's like, it's like man, I wish I would have stretched. Because if I did, then I wouldn't have hurt myself. And that's really what it does. It prepares you for the day. So, uh, yeah. Um, for those of you that are asking these questions, uh, what's good for the lower back? I was just doing some stretches right now. So it's not one particular stretch. It's these combination of stretches that's good for not only your lower back, but your entire system, your entire body, your legs, everything. It's a network of muscles, right? They're all connected one way or another, you know? And it's like the song. Your uh, foot bone's connected to your leg bone and your leg bone's connected to your hip bone and your, you know, so on and so forth. So it's, 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 uh, it's not one stretch. That's why it's important to warm up and stretch because this is, this is really good for, for the, for the body overall, regulating your system. You, you, you also have a, an effective communication with your body when you do this every day. It's a relentless effort to, to do this on a regular basis because when you're connected to your body, your body's aware and your body appreciates that you're giving it care. So there you go. There's a, there's a little rhyme for you. So when you're in, when your body's aware, and it shows that you care. There, put that on a t-shirt and sell it. Give me 10%. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that stretch I did, that elbow one, that's good for the back because it stretches part of your back muscle and your hip muscle. So they're all kind of connected. So I did both sides. So now here's another one that's good for the back and the core muscles. So this one is just plant your feet and stretch from left to right. So a complete half turn from left to right. This one's good. And then I like to do modified versions of this. So with this one, you just lean forward and do the same motion. And then back up and lean backwards. <clears throat> this is really good. This is helping me <clears throat> clear out my system too. When I do this, this is really good. I can feel it in my entire body. This is really great to, uh, to do that on a regular basis. So now I'm starting. Um, so when I started, I always start off with the upper body. And then work my way from my feet back up. So now I'm just stretching out the ankle. This is uh, a really good one. It's, it's just doing circles like how we did the wrist. So we do it in both direction. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I can make you guys laugh this morning. And uh, laughter is good medicine too, you know. I'm not much of a comedian, but if I was, that's 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 my act right there. My act is just enjoying and and uh, mostly laughing at myself because <laughs> those are the best jokes you can make is jokes about yourself you know it's not good to make fun of anybody not unless you know how to make fun of people and in in our indigenous culture if somebody somebody makes fun of you uh, it doesn't really necessarily mean they're picking on you so uh, i've been told by our elders and 
and people in the past that if somebody makes fun of you that means they like you right so uh we always tell that to visitors in our community like if somebody's teasing you or making fun of you then that means they like you but if they're not teasing you and not making fun of you then uh i guess i guess that means that uh you're not really you're not really acknowledged i guess i don't know that's that's our way of doing things in our community you know we make fun of people and uh you know it's not always fun to be uh <laughs> to be the subject of a good laugh but if, if it's done in the right way i guess uh, it, it, it works good you know if it's mutual i guess but yeah laughter is good medicine it's been proven so <laughs> yeah awesome okay so uh i'm just finishing up the stretches now doing some more stretches so this one's like this one's also good for the back so you keep your legs straight and touch down uh, if you can't go all the way down just go to your knees or your ankles or your toes or touch the floor there's different levels I've been doing this stretch for a long time and if I don't do this for a week I'll notice a difference it, it'll be harder for me to reach down but uh, I know that you got to build up to it. So this one, I just cross my legs. And just give it a nice little twisty twist. And the same here. Cross over the other way. And give it a nice little twisty twist. And this is good for the, for the hips, for the legs, for the lower back. There's a lot of great benefits to it. So um, now I'm going to bring out the, the little stretchy bands. These are good because... Regardless of doing dancing and there's everything like that dancing is a great total body workout But if you want even better results, it's good to uh, To get some weights if you can't get access to weights. This is a great alternative this thermal band. It's uh, like a stretchy band it's what uh, It's what was given to me uh, when I was rehabilitating myself um, When I got a my physiotherapist that actually gave me this um, but not this particular one, but I mean like years ago when I first got injured. And that's how I got into uh, working out every day was uh, the fact that I injured my my back and I was not able to walk. I was a young guy. I was like in my early 20s. I think I was like 21 and I, I couldn't understand it. I was supposed to be young and healthy and here I was like broken and injured and I, I didn't understand why. I tried to take pills like Robaxacet and that only helped for a day maybe and it didn't fix the problem. So anyways, I'm, I'm just doing some exercises. So uh, if you got weights, follow along. Um, these are in, inner curls and then there's straight curls and then there's outer curls. So these are what I did yesterday. So inner, you do these for 10. And then straight curls for 10. And then outer curls for 10. So it gives you 30 curls on your bicep muscles. So that's a good exercise to do if you want to firm up these muscles. It also works out a little bit on the forearm. So if you want to get a more solid, um, you know, like your, your body needs that every day, right? Your body needs, um, you need cardio, some type of exercise to shake up the, your system. So uh, you also need to uh, um, um, work out your muscles because if you don't use them, you're gonna lose them. Or if you don't have them, you're just gonna get weaker and weaker and weaker. And the body's like, a, 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 like a, an, an instrument, right? You gotta always be tuning it like a guitar, right? Guitar doesn't always stay in tune. You have to tune it, right? You have to fine tune it. Just like your body, you have to exercise on a regular basis. Because if you don't, it's just it's just going to turn to flubber. You're just going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. And um, day by day, week by week, eventually uh, your muscles are going to just be obsolete. They're going to, they're not, you're not going to have functional muscles. So it's good. Any little bit counts, so any little bit that you do, it counts in a big way. 
so you can gradually build yourself up to to greater fitness levels is basically what i'm saying so anyways um a couple more exercises we can do here uh so this one's really good so if you're if you're standing around this is a really good one to do these are high knee kicks so these are really good for the lower stomach muscles so it's like a march it's like you're kicking up your knees and you could also do this for uh for yeah you could do this for about a minute and this is really good because you're exercising the leg muscles and you're activating those core muscles you can even feel it if you feel your stomach you can feel every time you lift your leg, you're exercising those core muscles. And if this is too easy for you, then do a little bit of a jump like this. And those are high knee kicks like that. And you do that for about 30 seconds to a minute. Those high knee kicks like that. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And they're working out those hip muscles too. So you'll feel it in your hips which is a great little workout for your hips. And just doing these back and forth strengthens those bands, those muscles. Like I said before, they're all connected. They're all connected in more ways than one. So yeah, thanks for sharing that, uh, Kimmy. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. So yeah, that's good. You feel the burn on that. That's awesome. So that's uh, one exercise you can do any time throughout the day, even if you're, you know, you're watching your favorite television program, um, uh, you can do that. Or if you're at work, you know, take about a minute. It takes about a minute. So take yourself aside, stop doing work for a second, and then just, you know, meditate for a second and and be like, I need to to work out this part. I need to see if my posture is okay. I need to see. If I'm doing proper posture, am I am I doing okay? You know, it's a body check. It's a health check, right? You give yourself that moment, right? When you're thirsty, you drink water, right? When you're thirsty, right? So your body, you got to listen to your body too. When your body, something doesn't feel right, you're like, okay, do I need to adjust? That's what they call ergonomics. So uh, that's something I learned in school too. When I took college prep, they... They teach you about ergonomics so like for example if you're working you're writing a paper or you're studying they say every 20 minutes you want to take a break or they want to they also say like if, if you're sitting slouched that's not good you want to check to see if your posture is good you want to make sure everything's like this so if you're like this all the time or like this then that's not good you know you'll get a sore neck get a sore back so those are, those are uh, uh, things to do. So there you go. So posture is, is definitely a, a, a good thing to, to just be checking, right? Check, check it. Like, is my posture good? Is this good for my circulation? No, this is not, if you're typing like this, or if you're like this, slouched over, it's not good because we get those bad habits out of, you know, just, um, it becomes a bad habit eventually with, uh, you know, you, you get a little tired and fatigued. That's why they recommend that every 20 minutes you take a break. You take a break, and it doesn't mean taking a 20 minute break. Come on, this ain't the band office, eh? <laughs> uh, but, you know, every 20 minutes, you, you wanna take like a two to five minute break. And that's just basically just a health check. So the other thing we can do here, is uh, what we did yesterday, some squats. So basically you just squat down and you, you do about 10 of these, right? And if you find these too easy, then you can do squat jumps. And squat jumps are really good too. Squat jumps are basically, you just jump up like that. And it's a little bit more intense, but if you feel that's too much, you can just do regular squats like this. So do about 10 of these, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then also, uh, the core, always, always be considering the core because the core muscles are what, are what keep you balanced. They keep your posture up, right? 
They help compensate for your back muscles. If you have back problems, that means you got a weak core. And you got to, the best way to fix those is to strengthen them and to stretch every day. And I had to learn that the hard way. Like I was explaining earlier, when I was younger, I had a back injury. It, it affected everything, like the way I walked. It affected my hips. I, you know, it got to a point where it was painful to walk. But I, I don't have that problem anymore. And that's because ever since then, I've always worked out. I've always taken vitamins. And I've always taken time out of my day to exercise first before I, I do anything else. So one last exercise I'm going to recommend for you guys. These are called planks. So if you guys are not familiar with planks, I'm sure a lot of you know what a plank is by now. <laughs> Basically, you just get on the floor and rest on your elbows. And you do this for about 30 seconds. And what this does is it strengthens your, your back muscles and your core. Your core, I can feel my core activating and flexing. And, and it's helping to keep my body stable. So that's what core muscles do. So if we don't exercise them, eventually they become weak. And they, they eventually become to the point where they're obsolete, where they where they just don't work anymore. And that's how you get problems in your bone, in your, in your bones, in your body, and everything like that. So doing that, do that four times a day, that'll help out tremendously. It'll help out in your, in your all, everything like that. So, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that, Kimmy. So Kimmy here says uh, she, she has a walking stick in each hand to do squats while she's doing it. So there you go. So eventually, Kimmy, like if you do that enough times, I'm, I'm going to imagine that you're, you're going to need those, or those walking sticks less and less every time. The more you do it, it's not going to happen overnight, but uh, um, it's it's going to, uh, you're eventually going to get stronger and stronger where you're going to feel a little less pressure on those walking sticks and you're going to uh, rely on them a lot less. So rehabilitation though is the best medicine for the body. It's the best way to, to help heal your body. And I mean this in the most sincerest way that, you know, like... When you work out every day, it, it's a process, right? You're just going to get stronger and stronger. The more you do it, it's, it's going to help your health overall improve. Uh, so th this is something I thought I'd share with that. So anyways, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna finish off the class now. Um, we did a lot today already. We did three songs, did some stretches, and I shared some exercising tips. That's really what this channel is about. Uh, this is what I do every day for for exercise for myself, not only for my cardiovascular health, but your lungs, everything, your entire system. So when you dance, you actually shake up your internal organs. And that helps your digestive system, right? Like, a, like, you know, one of those shakers that separates minerals and the gravel. Just picture your body as a machine like that. When you when you dance, you're you're helping your system move. You're helping all the, the waste eventually get out. Well, you know, you know, the, <laughs> you know, it, it just shakes everything up. So it's great. It's great because stagnation is no good. Stagnation is no good when stagnation happens when we die, right? So bodies in motion is, is a good thing. So any imperfect action is better than taking no action whatsoever. So anyways, I'm going to get into some dancing. Uh, we'll just dance. Okay, so we'll dance it off now. Okay, so we'll try to do two songs. Always trying to catch that beat. So the rhythm of our dancing now, it's like that. Like how my hands are pulsating. I'm doing... Right, left, one, two, step, following that pulsating rhythm like that. And there's a rhythm in everything, not only just dancing, there's a rhythm in exercising. There's a rhythm in, in work and productivity. Once you get into that rhythm, it makes things really easy, just like our dancing, right? Once you get into that rhythm, you can pretty much do anything with it, right? You can, you can flow with that rhythm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. and easy so this one we're just doing a march right but some of the some of the dance styles change with uh, the crow hop so you can also do kicks like this you can do a march like that but all we're doing here is just finding that beat one two three four five six so notice how I'm just going I'm alternating my feet back and forth so there's all kinds of things you can do with dance that makes it easy and effortlessly so start off like this and then we'll go front, back, and front, back, and front, and back. Left and right, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And now we're twisting with it. So that's engaging those core muscles. Like that. Two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. exercise and dance it's just to have fun with it you know nothing's ever too serious so it's just best to have a little fun with it try different moves try different uh, different variation of moves and that's what helps you uh, not only exercise but discover the different uh, potential moves you can do uh, even if it's your, your dance style or not so there's there's a couple of different things you can do uh, you could even incorporate other dance, like uh, Clarence is saying here, uh, Irish river dance. So uh, in Métis culture, 
they have a, a dance called the jig, which is similar to Irish dancing, because what the jig is in Métis culture, as everybody may know or not know, it's a combination of culture. It's a combination of uh, traditional indigenous culture, as well with uh, Irish, Celtic, and Scottish, and uh, maybe a little bit of British in there, but definitely the Irish dancing comes out in there, and the jig is like, like this. Almost got it, yeah. You can hear it in the in the, in the toe taps and the rhythm, man. Dick, dig a dick, 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 dig a dick, dick. There you go. <laughs> so there's a little bit of uh, Irish. Or I, I wouldn't say Irish, but it's like jigging, Métis style. So um, I've I've been known to jig, and out in our community here in Alexander First Nation, a lot of people know how to jig. Uh, one of my late uncles was a jigging champion, and you know it's this is part of our our culture. You know, like a lot of people like the jig, power dance. So, anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. So yeah, um, I really feel good about. Today's class, uh, even though I didn't really start on my on my time, uh, you know I've been I've been uh, sick for the past couple of days, but uh, I still get up and I still uh, I still work out and it, and it got me a lot better. Yesterday my voice was really terrible; <laughs> I was losing it for the most part, um, but it's back. I'm 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 feeling like I don't know at least eighty percent back. And that's uh, that's the other thing about exercising. It helps you get better faster. It helps uh, your metabolism and your immune system. It just gives it that boost. It's like, it gives it a pump. It's like when you're lifting weights, right? It, it strengthens that muscle. So when you exercise, it strengthens your body. So it, it just translates to that. So yeah, thanks for uh, joining me today for Power Dance Aerobics. And if you find this message of value, definitely share it far and wide. People have asked me in the past, can I share this? Yes, you can share this with, with anybody. This is a free class that I do for everybody. This is my uh, my morning wake-up ritual routine. Um, you know, I, I, I get up really early at most times, and I like to work out. And um, part of it is doing this class with you guys, too. So thanks again for joining me, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. And in the meantime and in between time, we'll catch you guys later. I'll be back here tomorrow morning. I do this every morning. Uh, I usually try to stick to uh, uh, one time, uh, but lately I've been on Indian time or an indigenous time. Um, probably a reason for that, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. So either way, as I'm here and I'm doing it and yeah. All right, okay, well, you guys have an awesome day and take care. Peace out.